clashes what's going on this is cc play here and welcome to this video this video is basically the final video in my road to emperor my title so i am really buzzing i am so so happy that i've made it to emperor um or very nearly made it to emperor it's been such a long journey it's been months and months since i started this series uh, now to clarify things up from what i said in my last video um I mentioned I'll be giving away some might boosting tips also um, and I've had a thought and so as not to confuse things I'm basically going to upload this video on its own as basically I've reached Emperor, show you guys the reward you get as Emperor etc etc and then in the next video that I upload it will be just titled might boosting tips and tricks or something like that or how to boost your might um, and in there, I'd like to get a discussion going from everyone on their best methods to boost their might. But yeah, that's going to be purely focused on might boosting tips. So I am going to go into a couple of raids now and finish off inscribing one of my duplicate druids to get to 120,000 might. Um, so yeah, best way to inscribe your heroes as long as you've got enough blue crystals with your... Uh, mines upgraded in the Lost Realm. You'd literally just go into a raid, focus on the mana vaults, end the battle once you've got it, and then you've got 900,000 mana. And then you can go in, find the hero that you're working on. For me, it was the fourth one down. Yes, it was. I'm quite sad for knowing that, I must admit. Okay, we're very close. We have four might off. And so I'm going to go in and do another raid. One, two, three. Focus on these things here. Blah, blah. Okay, cool. That should be enough. Um, by the way, I don't mind failing these at the moment. Um, I know you lose a little bit of HP, but I don't know why. I kind of want to get this just for the satisfaction of complete the achievement, um, losing attacks. I don't know how anyone can, not without trying, lose a thousand attacks against other players. Um, they should be giving like a thousand gems to do that because it's actually quite hard to lose battles. Anywho, let's go in and upgrade this final inscription level to take me all the way to 120 thousand might so i have finally once the game realizes there we go i have finally reached emperor i <laughs> i am finally emperor cc play and i am so so happy i mean look at the rewards so when i started this i think i was gosh i was king yeah, I was king, and that was 80,000 to 120,000, so that was an increase of 40,000 might. Now, the gems don't go up at all. Um, we get 5% extra strength boost in the arena, and we also get 10,000 HP instead of 8,800 and 140 shards, so 20 more shards a day. And speaking of all my guild, is before I started this, Road to Emperor series, they were like, you know, you've got to get to 120,000, you've got to get up here with us, it's so much better, the rewards are great, um, HP comes more easily, and I have to admit, guys, as my might's been going up, everything has been getting easier and easier and easier, because HP comes in easier, um, your shards come in more quickly, it's, it's just brilliant. I mean, when I started with this guild, I was on 34,000 might, so I was a marquee, and since August, I think it was August that I joined them. August, I think, yeah. Maybe July, August time, I joined them with 34,000 might. And now, with their help, I've basically got to 120,000 might. So they've helped me do that. And I want to help all of you guys do that. I want to help you all basically be as good as you can be in this game. Um, but kind of without spending gems if that makes sense like in this road to emperor i've only spent a little amount on gems just for the fun of it um i was watching a video earlier where a guy said the best way to boost your might is to 
buy gems and I was really confused. So yeah, you can do this literally just by um, your monthly reward druid that everyone gets their monthly druids, which is why I have millions and millions and millions of druids. Um, and my advice with rolling gems is roll gems whenever you have enough to buy a hero. Um, th that's how I basically got the best heroes that I've got. Um, so, say my first two heroes were a PD and an Orcsbane, both done with 150s. My Vlad was a 150. Um, Pixie and Warlock recently were just 150s. Um, and also, I think I got Cupid from a Mesa 4 award. Um, so, if you're doing Mesa 4, hold out hope for that purple box in case that you get a legendary hero card, because um, they're quite often Pumpkin Dukes and Cupids. Anyway, guys, that's it from the final video in my Road to Emperor <laughs> series. It's literally been the longest series that I've done, and I am so, so happy to be here. Um, what am I going to be doing now? Basically, I am going to be focusing on getting an evolved hero, and basically, <laughs> I want to beat Hear Me Monsters Q. So... I am going to be upgrading my Warlock and my Pixie to 8, possibly 9 star, whilst getting, say, I'm going to focus probably on my Pumpkin Duke to evolve first. Either my Pumpkin Duke or my Spirit Mage, because Spirit Mage just looks really cool evolved. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on my main heroes, because as I know, I'm probably a lot of well, a lot of people have actually told me they're like, your hero levels are rubbish compared to your might. Um, but I basically wanted to get my might up first, so it was easy then to level up my main heroes. But I digress, guys. Keep it easy. Have fun playing Castle Clash and getting your might up. Just keep on boosting. It's amazing. This is CC out.